Hi guys, this is specially for Doc Inc. He suggested I should have coloured in the two gliders so we could tell which one was which. So I put red lines on the one that has no dimples. Because if you've been following this little part of the series through, version 3, you'll know that I've run out of the dimpled pizza trays. So we've got one with dimples on top, and this one has no dimples. They didn't fly very well yesterday when I tried them. I'm going to give it another go. The only difference between yesterday and today is I've cleaned up where I um, cut off the fins, because I shortened them a bit. I did it very roughly in the field here, and I've also smoothed off the edges because with this type of foam, if you rub um, something like a pen or that along the edge here, you can actually fold it down or smooth it down so we've got a curved front edge, the top edge, the bottom's still flat, but the top is curved. So that should slightly improve the aerodynamics. Not a lot, just a little. But today is really just for docking so we can see the difference. If, I, if I'd have done this with version 1 and version 2, it would have been easy to tell which one had no dim sorry, no dimples or top dimples. Or in the case of version 1 and 2 bottom dimples and top dimples. Right, the wind... Which way is it blowing? I'm not sure. Because just where we are at the moment, it's quite calm even though the trees are blowing. Right, well we go top dimples first anyway. Okay. Bottom dimples. Oh. <laughs> right. Okay. I have to go through all that trimming again, aren't we? That's probably made a difference actually smoothing those edges off. Go for a bit of up elevator. Oh, that's going a bit better. A bit better. Top dimples. Ah, I think smoothing off the leading edge has had the effect of giving us a bit of down thrust. So we'll go back to giving them a little bit of up elevator. Uh, what waster suggested I should have less dihedral and he was actually talking about version 2. Well on version 3 I've got even more dihedral and as you can see they have a tendency to do a barrel roll now. So version 2 was probably better. I've had lots of comments about putting the weight lower down underneath. Well, it's on top because that's easy. If I move the hook further back, then we'd have the weight at the front. So maybe version 4, if I do one, will move the hook further back. You see the barrel roll? I'm really confused about which way the wind's coming at the moment. Right, if they're tending to roll that way, I probably need either a bit of down there or up there. Rolling that way, a bit of up there, a bit of down there. Where 
reckon the wind's coming from over there. <laughs> well, looks like what I'm doing is making it worse, not better. What I do at times like this is change hands. That one's still spinning. Wind's behind me now. Crazy. Right. It really is whipping around the wind, all different directions. <laughs> Crazy. Every launch, the wind's going a different direction. Well, that was a good long flight. Can't seem to stop this one spinning. Well, that improved it, didn't it? Taking some of the dihedral out. Let's see what we can do with this one. Can we do it without breaking it? Yep, take the dihedral out, had far too much.
<laughs> yeah, you see that? It knew I was going to complain about it being upside down, so it flipped over again. Where's that going to go? That's better. Doing everything except fly. coming at me out of the sun that time. Like with bottom dimples, no dimples on any. So today, no dimples is flying best. So work that one out. So, summary, today, no dimples flew better after I'd taken some of the dihedral out. So, like I said at the beginning, I think version 2 was probably about right as to the amount of dihedral. Maybe even a little bit letter, less than that. Time to go home. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and Enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.